I would like to take this opportunity and thank you for your understanding, for taking the issue serious enough, and for raising your voice. Thank you so much for coming here and make this situation available for Hazaras, for the innocent of Besut. The statement of Afghan demonstrators in Toronto, June 1st, 2010. Afghanistan has been experiencing devastating conflicts for the past three decades, and almost all of its national treasures and chances of the modernization have been lost. The presence of the international community in Afghanistan is yet another golden chance given to Afghanistan to cure the prevailing plague of ethnic Afghans, of ethnic fascism in Afghanistan, and to also provide fundamental support in building a strong and modern Afghanistan. Nevertheless, unfortunately, the Karzai government has not only implemented positive change in Afghanistan since it took power almost a decade ago, but has rather further intensified the differences and hatred towards different ethnicities present in Afghanistan. In addition, the Karzai government is trying to track the war from the from the qualitative southern region of Afghanistan to the relatively peaceful region of the central part of Afghanistan. The tragedy and the ethnic cleansing which is currently taking place in the Behsud region of Afghanistan is not hidden from the wide open eyes of Afghans and the international community. If the current clumsy and deeply corrupted Karzai government showed the slightest responsibility towards the conflict that is taking place in Besut, the problem would have been solved long ago in a peaceful fashion. The barbaric Taliban group, the barbaric Taliban group, who is the disguised as Kuchis, have been shamefully terrorizing, killing, and looting innocent civilians of the Besut region, which has resulted in the deaths of many of innocent, defenseless women and children. In addition, the Taliban, disguised as Kuchis, have destroyed the local schools, houses, and mosques of the peaceful Behsud region. What is even more shameful and disgusting is the impotent Afghan National Army. What is even more shameful and disgusting is the impotent and lack of action in part of the Karzai government and the Afghan National Army in the responding in responding to this horrific genocide caused by the Taliban disguised as Kuchis. In fact, according to many sources, the army not only stopped the crimes committed by the Taliban disguised as Kuchi, but also helped them in their cost of killing innocent Hazaras civilians in the Behsud region and Daimardal. The impotent Karzai government has once again proved to Afghans, to Afghans and to international community that not only they lack proper governance, but are also big supporters of fascist and power-hungry groups in Afghanistan. The group of people who have gathered here to share the pain of the innocent basic civilians and to also alarm the respected Canadians about the genocide which is taking place right now in the Sud region of Afghanistan believe that there is a still chance for the Karzai government despite their failure to stop this genocide and save the very little credibility which they might have left. The peaceful gathering 
here today requests the Karzai government to deliver upon its promises of democracy and equal rights and thus treat all the different ethnic groups in Afghanistan equally. Although a great deal of damage has happened and although many innocent lives have been lost due to criminal negligence of the Karzai government. We believe there is still time for the Karzai government to repair this mess and do everything it possibly can to repair the lives of the innocent Besut civilians who are still suffering and meet the following conditions immediately. One, we want all current and past legislations which give one ethnic group benefit over others ethnic over other ethnicities. Number one, we want all the current and the past legislations which give one ethnic group benefit over other ethnicities in Afghanistan to be scrapped and discontinued immediately. This includes the past legislations which allowed coaches to lawfully invade the private properties of Beisut civilians where majority of the population is consisted of the ethnic Hazara people. Two, we want the Karzai government along with the international community to provide all the support they possibly can to the innocent of Behsud and Daimardat civilians who have lost everything as a result of Kochi invasion and massacres. Three, we want the Karzai government to provide the wandering Kuchi population a dedicated place to live so that in future Kuchis don't repeat their invasion of other people's private properties and cause massive taxes. Four, we want the Afghan judiciary to hunt down all those responsible for the horrific crimes committed in the Behsud region of Afghanistan. Those who are responsible directly or indirectly should face the appropriate criminal prosecution. Five, the Karzai government has not only failed to provide basic security for the innocent civilians of Behsud region, but in fact has further helped the Kuchis in looting, killing and destroying the properties of innocent Behsud civilians. One such example is the escort provided to the Kuchis, murders and criminals by the Afghan Ministry of Defense. While we strongly condemn this racist and criminal act in part of the Karzai government, we want the immediate dismissal of radical fascist criminal elements which have widely infiltrated the Afghan government. In addition, we want a formal apology from President Karzai for not only failing to save innocent lives, but in helping the Taliban Kuchi in their criminal acts in the Behsud and Daimardad region. Six, finally, and the most importantly, we want peaceful coexistence in between the different ethnic groups inside Afghanistan. And we strongly believe that anyone who cause hatred and has racism towards any other ethnic in Afghanistan should be severely punished. Thank you so much for your time.